Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Okay guys, welcome back. I will add the project link in my description below, so you can check it from there. First, let's create a new background. So for that, let's right mouse here, go to new and click to solid. And let's make it black. And click OK and let's rename it to background and click OK. And then let's lock our background and then go to type tool or you can press Ctrl T for that. And let's just click here and let's write our text hello. Now let's select this text and let's change the color to white. And let's change the font. Let's use this one and let's change the scale of it. Okay. Now go to selection tool and let's select this text and hold control and double click to pan behind to move anchor point to the center. Now go to effects presets and let's search for mirror effect and let's drag and drop it to our text. Now let's change the reflection angle and let's make it 90 and let's change the place of it somewhere to here. Okay, let's move it like this. And now go to effects process again and let's search for liner white. And let's select this liner white and let's drag and drop to our text again. And first let's change the white angle, let's make it zero. And let's change the transition completion. Let's make it like this. Okay, and change the feather to make it smooth. Like this, and let's change the transition completion a little bit more. Also, let's move this mirror to a little bit to down, somewhere to here. Okay, this is good. Now let's go to FX Presses again, and uh, let's search for Compound Blue. And let's use it in our text. And also let's go to FX Presses again, and uh, let's search for Displacement Map. And let's use it on our text again. So let's create a mask because we don't want to use it in our main text and we want to use it in the reflection. So for that, let's select the text layer and go to the rectangle tool and let's make a mask like this. And let's go to our text layer and open the effects and go to the down and open the displacement map. And let's click the plus button on the composition options and let's select the mask one and then go to the up let's go to mask one and change add to subtract and let's do the same for the compound blue let's open it and go to the down and let's press this plus button make sure you selected mask one and then let's change some settings from here let's go to displacement map and change the use for horizontal displays to luminance and also let's change the green to luminance as well and let's change the amount let's make it 130 and change this one to zero and also let's close this text layer and let's unlock this background and let's go to fx presets and let's search for fractal noise and let's use it on this background for now let's close this text and then open the transform and let's uncheck uniform scaling and let's change the scale width to 15 and then hold out and let's click to here to make an expression and let's write time multiply 200 let's see okay and then let's open this text layer and let's select it and go to displacement map and let's change this displacement map layer to background and also change the source to fx and masks also let's change the blur layer from hello layer to background layer and change the source to fx and masks as well and then let's right mouse here and let's change the composition settings and let's change the background color to black and click ok and click ok from there now let's close this background for now ok and select this text and let's change some settings to make it look more better so for that let's change max horizontal displacement and let's make it something like this okay now let's go to fx presses again and let's search for transform and let's use it on this text layer also let's apply as we did in this effects like 
we want to use in the reflection so for that let's open the text settings and let's close this one and this one as well and let's open the transform and go to the down now let's click to this plus button and make sure you selected mask one now let's close it now let's close it again and now we can change maybe opacity from here let's see it out of it we can change it like this to make it more realistic and let's go to effect presence again and let's add transform again to this effect also we can close this one so it will be more easy to see and let's select transform to and let's move it to the up and we can start to give animation to it so for that let's go to first second and let's make a position keyframe let's go somewhere to here and press here so we can see the keyframes and let's move this keyframe to here and go to first keyframe and let's move it to the down now select keyframes make them easy and then go to graph vector let's make the graph like this let's see it nice maybe we can give some animations again and go to this keyframe and go to 10 keyframe with holding shift and page down and let's move it to the down a little bit and go to 10 keyframe again let's copy this keyframe press ctrl c and ctrl v select this keyframes go to graph vector let's zoom out a little bit and change the graph like this also let's select these keyframes and right mouse go to keyframe interpolation and change current settings to linear and click ok let's see it again ok maybe we can delete the last keyframe so it will be more better now let's move this one to right let's see ok nice and lastly we can add maybe glow to it so it will be more better now let's go to effects presets and let's search for glow and let's drag it and drop to our text layer let's change some settings from here like this and also change the color i'm gonna use the yellow now let's make the same color as this one let's change the glow intensity to 0.7 and change the glow radius to 35 percent let's play it again nice but also lastly let's select this keyframes and let's zoom out a little bit let's make it like this let's see how it looks like nice this one is more better let's go to here and press n change the time duration let's play it nice and also if you want to change the color of this text let's just select this text and press ctrl t and select the text now let's change the color from here for example let's use the yellow color nice or maybe blue okay you can use it however you want let's play it as a yellow color Okay, nice so guys thanks for watching my video please don't forget to subscribe channel and leave a comment in my video see you in the next videos